Hello YouTube, welcome to my video. There's some delay in making this video because I was busy with university. Um, the, it is actually an expansion of what I have written during my secondary school days. <coughs> so let us begin the story about the origin of the natural log logarithm, the constant that is actually of uh, usually written as e let's begin with the story of the enigmatic e well the story it, it, it all begins with money in the 17th century jacob bernoulli also also known as jacob james um was studying an, an interesting problem about compound interest. Well, what is compound interest? Let us, um, let us talk about it this way. If we have some money, let's, let's say about maybe $1,000 and you decide to keep it in a bank, the bank pays, pays you interest and <coughs> um, and how often your bank pay your interest so that interest earns interest and this is what we call compound interest so how do we calculate the compound interest let us assume that your bank offers 12% rate that is compounded annually while another bank offers the same rate but compounded monthly how much would be the difference? let's just do a quick calculation after a year the balance would be <coughs> this amount if we consider uh, annual compounding and for the case of monthly compounding we get this amount <coughs> so the interest rate for annual compounding is 12% and 12.683% for monthly compounding <coughs> this is what we call effective annual rate and the 12% is the nominal rate what if there's another bank offering the same rate but increase the compounding frequency let's say daily or even continuous well to calculate this um, let us first derive the <coughs> the general equation <coughs> so let P be the inner deposit and R be the nominal rate <coughs> with N as the number of times it compounded um, in a year so for the balance B, we have <coughs> What if we compound this a thousand times a year? What is the effective effective rate then? 
so. <clears throat> How about ten thousand? We notice that the difference between these two are very small. This suggests that there is a limit. <coughs> so what if what is the limit as uh, as n approaches infinity? And we can effectively say that the interest is compounded continuously. Well, let us consider to make it um, perhaps it is easier to see if we consider the case for 100% interest rate with um, one dollar as the initial deposit. So the balance after a year is then As n approaches infinity, this equation would nears a certain a certain peculiar number, which is the constant that we are talking about here. And it is also interesting to note that um is actually so this uh, this gives us the formula for continuous compounding that's all thank you for watching bye bye